Earth is changing. An increase in the greenhouse effect, perpetuated by human activities, is causing our planet to get warmer and the climate to change. In 2010, 46 billion tons of greenhouse gases were emitted from human activities, a 35% increase from 1990. While there are four natural greenhouse gases, the strongest heat-trapping gases are completely synthetic, such as chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, and hydrochlorofluorocarbons, more commonly referred to as CFCs, HFCs, and HCFCs. These non-toxic, invisible gases are used in aerosol sprays, foam, as solvents and as refrigerants in air conditioning and refrigeration systems. We thought there was nothing wrong, until scientists found that CFCs and HCFCs have up to 14,400 times the heat-trapping power of carbon dioxide and had caused 50% of the ozone layer over Antarctica and the Arctic to disappear. In 1987, the United Nations came together to create the Montreal Protocol with the goal to protect the ozone layer by phasing out ozone-depleting substances such as CFCs and later HCFCs. Since its institution, more than 2 million tons of these substances have been phased out and the ozone layer is predicted to return to its pre-industrial level as early as 2060. The rebuilding of the ozone layer, which protects our surface from UV radiation, has averted up to 2 million cases of skin cancer each year and saves many more people from developing cataracts. While the Montreal Protocol was a success, our work is not done. Climate change affects all of us and our world. Sea level rise, increasing temperatures, changing precipitation, more extreme weather, and ocean acidification are damaging coastal and marine ecosystems and threatening people's food security, health, and safety. CFCs and HCFCs have been replaced by HFCs, which do not deplete the ozone layer. The problem is, HFCs are still up to 14,800 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Banning the use of HFCs would avoid up to half a degree of global temperature increase by the end of this century. The scientific community had the power to convince the world's governments to dismantle the CFC industry, which was worth $2.7 billion per year. In order to save our planet, we need to discontinue our use of HFCs and other synthetic greenhouse gases and pollutants. So when you or your family are thinking of buying a refrigerator, especially if used, installing an air conditioning system, or buying aerosol sprays, check the label to make sure CFCs, HCFCs, and HFCs are not used in the product. Share this video with your family, friends, classmates, and others to educate them on CFCs, HCFCs, HFCs, and climate change.